This tutorial will show you how to use Gecko with MainStage. So I have MainStage open with the standard concert setup that has a whole bunch of sounds in there and I already picked the analog lead. And it's set up here with my machine controller. Meaning that I can play the notes with machine and the synths in MainStage will generate the sound. So what I want to do now is use Gecko to add expressiveness to this. So let's launch Gecko. And again, obviously, it will detect my hand as I use it, so open or closed, um, in both hands, left and right. So let's now say I've got this sound here. But I want to use this filter cutoff here. I want to use that with Gecko. So how do I do that? I go to the layout section in main stage and I click on that particular knob and here you can see that it can learn a MIDI input from uh, another MIDI device. Now on the Mac Gecko contains a virtual MIDI output that is always ready to send out MIDI. So let's say that you want to control the cutoff with your hand open up and down position. So I click on the up and down arrow the hand open section and let's say that I want to send this out uh, as MIDI CC number three. So if I move my hand, it will send this out. And you can see already here in main stage at the top here that it's automatically receiving that MIDI information. So all I have to do now is click the learn button, move the hand, and you can see that the button is actually directly being controlled by Gecko. So now I can go back to the perform screen, put in my Obviously, this is just one part of uh, setting up the, the expressiveness through Gecko. One of the most unique features of Gecko is that you can use multi-dimensional movements at the same time and control different parameters of your synth with that. So let's do this now. Let's say that you want to tie the left-right position here. So up, down, left, right. Let's say that this one, you want to tie it to another uh, aspect of your sound. So let's use MIDI CC4, for example. And I want to control, let's say, uh, the reverb with it. So let's go to the layout. I click on reverb, I do learn, and I will move my hand. Now you can see immediately there is a problem. Depending on which movement I make, it's going to receive either three or four, which is both MIDI messages that are being sent out by the different movements of my hand. To make this intuitive to, to map, you can actually click the solo button underneath any of the configurations and that will be the only message that is being sent out. Even though Gecko is detecting all the rest, it will only send out the solo uh, configuration. And at this point, I can just use this and there is no uh, other message that is there to be detected wrongly by main stage. So when I'm finished learning, I can click on the solo button again to uh, remove it and then I can perform again.